All right, very good evening. Today, um, basically, as yes. hello, very good evening. Hello, very good evening. Uh, in this quick tutorial tip, basically, uh, we're going to see how we duplicate and duplicate instance. Uh, okay, the normal duplicate that we do in Maya is basically you select an object, uh, you press Control D again, and pressing a Control D does the duplicate and pair. No, sorry, copy and paste, right? That basically means that it automatically copies and pastes at the exact same location. So you need to press W and move that object to a different location. So in other words, duplicate is copy, paste, combined. So you have to make sure that. But then once we duplicate, entire in input graph history is basically uh, removed. So if you have an original object, if you duplicate from it, basically its entire history is uh, removed. So in this case, for example, this is my original object and you can see this has an input history and all these objects are basically duplicate of it and there is no input history with that. Um, sometimes it's good, sometimes you actually need that input history. Second thing, um, sometimes I will come into that later point, but some, most importantly what you need to do is you need to be able to control all these objects all together. So for example, if I come into this, uh, sorry, come on, come on, come on, come on, word text. And there you go. So if I added the vertex, I'm, I'm just going to be able to control this individual object as it is, right? Uh, but there's one other trick in Maya as well. So if you go into edit and do, for example, if I select this one, that would be much better. If I go into edit, duplicate, that's a control D, uh, but I will do a duplicate special with the option box available. Now, by default, it just does the copy, the original copy, and that's it. But if I click on instance, what that would do is, uh, in, in this case, for example, if I click on this one, control uh, not control D, but instead duplicate special apply and that would it will do it. It will create just a standard duplicate exactly same thing. But however, if I go into any of these two objects, right click, go into control word as you would see, both are highlighted. And if I select any of the vertex here, move, you would notice both the objects are basically moving. So if I click on this, go on the other thing, if I right click control vertex, if I click here, see this, both objects are being edited. That's because duplicate instance allows us to control the, uh, the input graphs of both objects exactly like the same. So if you edit one object, the both objects get edited. This becomes a very neat trick that if you need to edit multiple objects together, uh, make sure you just make them duplicate instance. So for example, uh, the railing or the stairs or the wheels of the car, multiple books, anything, anything that you need to edit simultaneously, lots of objects, you just duplicate instance with that. And that would allow you to make, manage the basic object uh, all in one place. Thank you very much. This is One Minute in Maya. See you around. See you on the